Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. Greetings all, Last Outrider here with another video, and this time we're going to be talking about Nurgle. More specifically, why it doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to preface this by saying I predict that Chaos is going to be getting a major overhaul in the 40k world because it just doesn't make sense the way it's represented anymore. To give you a little history uh, about the development of chaos in the Warhammer universe, it started in Fantasy Battle, which is now defunct, and was a medieval setting. So, the chaos powers were all originally these fantasy-based uh, storylines that had to be transported into a science fiction 40k setting of which most of them were able to make it there except for Nurgle who never quite fit in. Why? because Nurgle, who now originally was supposed to represent death, but then that got supplanted by the Kimri and the undead and uh, the necromancers and vampire counts, which became more of the sphere of death, and Nurgle represents now entropy, kind of, decay. But the problem is, <clears throat> is that they <laughs> represent this from a medieval Dark Ages standpoint, concept of decay. At that point in time, science looked at decomposition of biological matter as a form of corruption because they had no concept of microcellular life. Uh, in this point in time, we know that decay is, is far from corruption. It's far from death. In fact, it's, it's more of the recycling of life. Uh, Nurgle's sphere is shown to be as kind of a swampy uh, morass of, a, of, a, of an environment. But today, we know that swamps are some of the most biodiverse ecosystems you'll find on the planet. If, if you want to find uh, a, a dead ecosystem, uh, you'd be looking at like the Antarctic tundra, right? Or the, the middle of the Kalahari Desert or something. That would be the absence of life. Going into the middle of a swamp would be the exact opposite of going uh, of the absence of life. So Nurgle never quite left this Middle Ages concept of entropy and corruption as decay. And you're stuck with that now in a Warhammer 40k setting, and it just doesn't make sense. Now, they tried to update Chaos a little bit with um, the warp being a place where your emotions take form uh, and become actually conscious life. Okay. It's an improvement, but again, Nurgle doesn't fit in because what emotion is he? Corn is supposed to be hatred and murderous rage or the desire to kill things apparently illegally because, you know, Slanesh is excess of sensory and, you know, Zinch is basically the thirst for knowledge and understanding. Um, and, and things like that, but what, what emotion is Nurgle? Boom. Nurgle 
does not have a representative emotion like the other chaos powers. Some would have said, uh, you know, he's the fear of death. Okay, but when you get sick, uh, how, how is that represented by, you know, becoming a zombie? Again, I, do, I don't see it. The, the, if, if, if Nurgle's emotion is the fear of death, then wouldn't it just become fear itself? Fear in all forms. Why just of death? Why not just the fear of spiders? Why not the fear of water? It would make more sense if Nurgle was tr uh, was transformed into into uh, like in the DC universe in, a, in the Green Lantern Corps, uh, fear itself. And in that case, again, the symbology of Nurgle doesn't quite fit. Um, where is this all going, you ask? It's going to what I'm saying, that there's going to have to be a large restructuring of how chaos works. We're going to get to a point where the physics of chaos and the warp is going to be explained so that it actually makes sense even though that's supposed to be the opposite of what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to not make sense. But, but, hear me out. There are several game systems that explain chaos. Um, and the two most popular representations of it are, e are going to be like World of Darkness, White Wolf's World of Darkness, Mage the Ascension, which has a sphere of entropy, as a, as, um, but that looks at it as the modern scientific concept of entropy. Entropy is reaching a ground state, a lowest energy level, a, a reduction of complex systems to less complex systems until you reach a point of inertness, a lack of energy. According to the descriptions of Nurgle, that that's what he would represent as entropy. Only in a medieval Dark Ages concept of it, which doesn't make sense in 40K. Another representation of chaos is, again, the breakdown of the laws of physics, going down into the quantum world. You know what I mean? Where all the where time and space and all of the matter and all of these things are are broken down that they just don't work anymore in superposition. But the fun thing now is we're finding out that that already exists <laughs> in 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 our material universe on the quantum scale. We don't need to go over into an alternate dimension to find superpositioning and quantum erasers and nonlinear time, it exists naturally in this universe. So you don't even need uh, the warp to do that. So that won't work. Um, what, what do you have then? End result, Nurgle's gotta go at some point in time in the future. The rest kind of makes sense. They're just some form of raw human emotion taken form, but Nurgle just doesn't fit that paradigm. So I'm looking forward to the day that Nurgle gets retconned into either becoming the personification of fear itself, uh, which is obviously a very strong, if not one of the main emotions of of humanity right almost everything is driven by fear which would mean that the night lords would become the legion that represents nurgle instead of the death guard to be honest with you that's my thoughts on it I, nurgle just bothers me that's what this video is about I hope you enjoyed it, and next time, I'm going to give you my other thoughts about 40K. Bye. Hmm.